Pokemon meme review. Leave your entries in the subreddit, Pokefans. Now I submit in the next episode, Ask Pit Pie. Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of Ask Pitapie. At some point in the past, I asked you, my series where I react to submissions on my subreddit and a curated slideshow. And since most of those submissions are memes, the alternate name for the series is Pokemon <laughs> Meme Review. The last month has been a pretty big month for me and my content, so I'm excited to see the memes in relation to that. And one of the big things was the new merch drop of the Cave Form Mighty Plush and the Mighty Socks. Both of these actually sold out, so we opened back ordering, but we're only keeping back ordering open for a few more days. So if you want either of these things, you need to get them basically immediately at mnjtvmerch.com, linked in the description below. But now let's dive in to the memes r slash mnjtv sorted by top in the past month and the top post is shame you guys always act like you're better than me snivy has the lowest base stat total of all grass type starter pokemon i wonder if that's the same in the final form wait user reports it's promoting hate based on identity or vulnerability <laughs> uh <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I put Pokemon starter names through Google Translate a hundred times. Okay. The dinosaur, mix through, win, <laughs> of course. The big dog, thanks, Saturday, Poland, wood color, time, with a colon. My progress, I took pictures, don't like it. Those first three are like someone taking progress pictures after deciding to start going to the gym and it hasn't been going well. <laughs> My progress, I took pictures, don't like it. Monster, again, good. Delphi, the oracle at Delphi. The dining room, a wild snake, everything is fine. <laughs> and finally, I was watching TV. For example, check out financial support. The first line sounds like someone who's been watching TV and is recommending a show called financial support. <laughs> It works out another day, if necessary. Employee downfall. Ooh. That's basically saying, th this might actually, uh, the water stores might be a complete sentence. I was watching TV. For example, check out financial support. It works out another day, if necessary, employee downfall. So basically like, I'm, they're saying like the show works out on another day. Like maybe the first season isn't that great. And if necessary, fire someone. Here's why Pokemon doesn't listen to fans. 8.52 million copies sold, 7.06 million copies sold versus 25 and 22. Um, yeah, that's very true. But I also think part of it is like, I think the Switch has sold a lot more copies than either the D, like than the DS did think. Don't quote me on that though. But also social media is a very powerful marketing tool that didn't exist when Platinum and Black 2 White 2 came out. I guess it technically did when Black 2 White 2 came out. And I guess it was in its infant stages with Platinum, but it was not to the same level as it is now. In the Indigo Disc DLC, you can invite Paldean trainers to the League Club to be your special instructor. I think it's so funny you can invite these gym leaders to be your instructor. It's like, what are you gonna teach me? I'm better than you in every way. The worst argument I've heard about the modern Pokemon games they gave these Pokemon jobs, which don't make them feel like wild animals. Wait, people have argued that Pokemon have jobs? That's kind of confusing. Everybody excited for our Chaladon till they realize Duraludon gets, uh, or Duraludon. I've never been entirely sure how to say that, but I think they called it our Chaladon, which makes me think it's supposed to be Duraludon. But yeah, Duraludon gets Eviolite. I've seen some memes about like Duraludon spending maybe like an hour in Little Cup, the uh, the format on Pokemon Showdown that only allows for not fully evolved Pokemon, it's gonna get like an hour there and then get banned. <laughs> because other buff not fully evolved Pokemon such as like a uh, Scyther are banned and Duraludon might just be instantly banned. <laughs> it may never get a shot. <laughs> Cause it's based at totals like 530, 520, somewhere in that range. So who's the most popular Alolan starter? I am. I feel like it's Decidueye, right? I mean, that might be my personal biases. I love the characterization they gave the Galar starters. Prankster kid with pet drumstick. Pet drumstick? Garage punk team that lives to perform. Lays down beats that shake the entire region. Peppy kid who loves the game. Angsty jock teen obsessed with going pro. Best player he knows, never misses a shot. Anxious kid who's scared of his own shadow. Quiet kid with grenade. All the other kids with the pumped up kicks. <laughs> with the seven deadly sins. Lust, oh ditto, god. Greed, yeah, sloth, of course. Gluttony. Um, I mean, Snorlax 
Well, I guess it does eat a lot. I feel like Munchlax would have been better for Gluttony. Envy, that's good. Wrath, yeah. Pride, I don't know. Is Pyro pride? I know like lions are proud and it's called a pride of lions. So maybe that was it. If there was once a Pokemon with all 18 types at once, it would have seven immunities and one weakness. What type of this Pokemon be weak to? Um, I actually already know this, not because I figured it out, but because I was told previously and it is rock. It would win every Smash Bros character, one of every Pokemon. I don't know enough about the Smash Bros character to have a good answer for that. Those cool Unova Pokemon, the evolution levels. Yeah, Unova was, I don't know why they did that. <laughs> why not use gen two months? We have only useful later gen evolutions. That's worded poorly, but basically like they're only useful once they get later gen, like gen evolutions. Post game exclusives. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Can't use unless you trade. Pointless baby Pokemon, completely useless. Mill tank, sucking on its own nipple. <laughs> Jesus, this gen sucks. Yeah, uh, gen two was a very weird generation and overall bad in regards to Pokemon usefulness. It's why if you look at all the Pokemon that are even just shown here already, like that's seven right here that get evolutions in a later generation. Uh, Murkrow also got one. The baby Pokemon, do as well, uh, particularly Magby and Elekid. Corsola kind of did with its regional form. Miltank's like actually annoyingly good, but like no one ever uses Sunflora or Jumpluff or Ladian or uh, Ariados because they're not good. <laughs> the four horsemen of having no point of existing. Uh, Fion, Alomomola, Audino, and basically every baby Pokemon. I'm with you on baby Pokemon, I guess they're like, they're helpful for marketing, but there's a reason they haven't made any new ones in a while. Fion is the most pointless of all of them because why give a pre-evolution that can't even evolve into Manaphy? That's insane to me. Audino, I, I'm not, as, I don't have a, as much of a problem with. Gen 5 was kind of, it was supposed to serve as a soft reboot. So a lot of Gen 5 Pokemon are basically, they just replace Gen 1 Pokemon. So like Conkeldur is the new Machamp. Sock and Throw are the new Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. Rog and Rolla is the new Geo dude, and Audino is the new Chansey. Aloma Mola, I just think it's a little weird that it's not related to Love Disc, but like, I think it's fine that it exists. By the way, quick interjection before I move on to the next meme. In case you missed the announcement a few weeks ago, I have launched a new Patreon with exclusive videos. I've had a Patreon for a while that I've now closed to make room for this new one called John Michael and Co. Because it is John PM7, myself, Michael, and my editor, Katie, and John's editor, Tyler. And if you subscribe to that Patreon, you can get exclusive videos available nowhere else at all. And much of those videos have a gaming focus of me and John playing a game relatively unedited for about an hour. So if you miss my unedited Let's Play format videos that I made back in the day, then you can get more of those by subscribing to this Patreon. We're not really playing Pokemon because we're gonna play Pokemon. It makes sense to go on our public channels, but we play like co-op games or like competitive stuff. It's a lot of fun, but there's other stuff too, you know, just kind of chatting and telling stories. So basically if you're a fan of me and my content, then it would be great if you subscribe to the Patreon because then you'll get more content. The link is in the description below and in the link of all of my videos, but it's patreon.com slash John Michael and co. Uh, it would mean a lot to subscribe and support us in this fun thing we've started doing. Only two, you can choose two of these starter Pokemon to have as a best friend, the rest of them will be gone forever. As a best friend, I, I tend to prefer to be best friends with people who can talk, but I'll go for Turtwig and Mudkip. I feel like they have a low risk of accidentally burning my house down. What does it mean? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Okay, it's just the Pokemon at the exact 100s. What does it mean? I think absolutely nothing. Charizard, two Megas, a Gigantamax form. Champion's Ace, Pokemon community, beating him up. Gardevoir, Champion's Ace, Mega, Paradox form. <laughs> Pikachu, two exclusive Z moves, Gigantamax form. Says his name in game, several spinoff games. Starts two main series ones. Uh, I mean, Pikachu's the, the, the mascot. But yeah, Gardevoir also has gotten a lot of attention. If the Swords of Justice get paradoxes, should Keldeo? I kind of doubt it. Keldeo's a mythical, and mythicals are just a different situation entirely. Are you going to sleep? Yes, I am. Now shut up. Is Necrozma an Ultra Beast or a Legendary? Uh, I think it's like Coridon and Maridon, which are both paradox Pokemon and Legendaries. Which of Mikey's alter egos would run the channel the best? Grunty Boy, Mikey Team Sky, Mikey Team Night Sky, Mikey Ice Gym Leader, Mikey Bug Gym Leader, Dark Lord, Mikey Dark Gym Leader. Well, Grunty Boy would probably give me the most sponsorships. Pokemon not bad, guys. That's right, Pokemon do bad things because Master Bad 
Preach. Okay, this is a serious debate. One or two, where, <laughs> where would, what is it, Roaring Thunder? Is that its name? I gotta remember. Raging Bolt. I was not close. <laughs> I mean, I guess I was close. I, uh, that's a little embarrassing. It's brand new. It's not in a game yet. I'll, I'll, I'll know it. But anyways, where would its tie go? I would say, uh, number two. Uh, and the reason I say that is because, you know, my neck's not as long as Raging Bolt's, but when I wear a tie, it's, it's here. It's not here. If you ever feel useless, remember that Rotom Fan can have Levitate. Oh yeah, the default set for Rotom Fan on Showdown is, uh, it also holds an air balloon. Are these just like boxes coloring Cynthia's Pokemon and Cynthia herself? Okay guys, we need to give some Pokemon new evolutions. Duraludon, Applin, how about a week older Pokemon? I mean, I like that Duraludon and Applin are getting new evolutions. You know, it, it breaks kind of tradition, but there are some older Pokemon that I do think could really use it. Zeb Strika. Please. Also Tropius. And cast form, oh my God. Don't make me tap the sign. The forces of nature are Kami, not genies. Oh yeah, I know the origin but they still look like genies. What do y'all think the Unova Legends game will be? Uh, Keldeo, Genesect, Victini, Kyurem, Meloetta. Hmm, if they were to do it, I would say, that's a good question. Cause I feel like it would focus on the original dragon where all three were fused together. Maybe we'd finally get a name for it. Hmm, me, MC Sledge, and then Charlie. Uh, I, uh, I did not get the MC Sledge reference. Like other people pointed it out, but I, Admittedly don't watch enough of his content to have, I, I did not get that reference immediately when I saw the character, but I have heard this connection before. Quackwabble having water coverage against Skeledurge. <laughs> it's not coverage if it's your own type. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, but coverage means moves outside of your type. Meowskarita having dark coverage against Skeledurge. Oh, how did I not even realize that until now? I mean, that happens sometimes. Like, that happened with Empoleon. You could do the same meme with Empoleon in the middle. Who would win? A hundred of every dinosaur, one of every Pokemon? Uh, we don't know how many dinosaurs there were. So, uh, like, you realize dinosaurs were here for a very, very, very long time and slowly evolved over time. It would, that would be impossible to define. There is more time between Tyrannosaurus Rex and Stegosaurus than there is between Tyrannosaurus Rex and us. I'm pretty sure. This is not a giraffe, STFU. <laughs> it's a giraffe. <laughs> I know it's not a giraffe. We're being funny. Laugh a little, all right? Have a little joy in your life. The test isn't that confusing. The test, throw back to my very viral image where that can look like either Palkia or Dialga. Me when school starts. Um, but there's a bunch of anime I've missed that I was just gonna binge. I loved that line. <laughs> Penny, such a relatable character. Champion aces. Pseudo legendaries. Powerful non pseudo legendaries. Glamora. Yeah, uh, it was weird. Her team is very weirdly designed. She would be terrifying if King Gambit was her ace, but I could also see that being more difficult than uh, than they intend for most Pokemon games. But having Glamora as the ace just doesn't make sense because it's like, like it doesn't have to be the lead, but Glamora, its whole thing is spreading entry hazards. So like that would have made a lot more sense earlier in the battle. Misigno wants to ask me something. Can I John Team Psy? Sure, buddy. I'm a little worried you will glitch me out of existence if I say no, so <laughs> welcome. Oh my gosh, this is a throwback meme format. If Silver sees Pokemon as tools and not friends, how does he have a Crobat? This has confused me more than Cyrus's has. Uh, I think Cyrus's is harder to explain because Silver develops as a character. Cyrus does not. It's time to go. Was I a good meme? No, you might be the longest though. <laughs> no, it's not the longest. It's, we're not even, we're, uh, Disturbingly, not even to a year of the drowsy meme. Whereas Yaveltal, which doesn't get brought up as often, but Pokemon Talk 8 came out in like 2015, I think. So that's eight years. And then Arcus started in 2017 with that Pokemon Talk episode. 
So it is not the longest. <laughs> but for the last year, it's it's been the biggest one. Its entire body is made up of a single organ that generates electrical energy. Reggie Lecky is capable of creating all Galler's electricity. Rose, after he almost caused the apocalypse, trying to give unlimited electricity to Galler. <laughs> Uh, the writing about that whole plot line was not good. <laughs> I'm gonna do this crazy stuff, even though we're not gonna run out of electricity for a hundred years, or a thousand years. It was like a thousand years. It was so stupid. I triggered a cutscene while I was in the water. I'm just gonna mute this. Wait, why aren't you walking like that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, bye. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm very disappointed that Scarlet and Violet continues to perform to the level it does this long after release. Like, I still have to, like when I move from one box to another, I still have to wait for the icons to load. Infuriates me. Maybe adding the DLC will make it perform better, but I'm a little skeptical because that's adding more stuff. <laughs> I hate Pokemon. Ah, Squidward, that's hilarious saying you hate Pokemon and all, because you know what they say. The only people who hate Pokemon have never played it. <laughs> Cute. Her, I bet he's thinking about divorcing me. Him, if Duraludon's base stat totals 535, what will our Taladons be? Will they pull a Scyther, Scizor, and Cleavor? I don't think they will do that. I would be surprised. I would guess our Chaladon is gonna be like 550 or 555. Now that may sound high for like a non legendary Pokemon or non pseudo legendary Pokemon. But there are quite a few non legendary, non gimmick higher base set total Pokemon that are around the 550 range. Arcanine, uh, Florges, Volcarona, uh, Ursaluna, King Gambit, Golden Go, Togekiss, Gyarados is 540. That's a little closer to 535 but I'm gonna estimate it's going to be either 550 or 555, maybe 552, but somewhere in the range of Arcanine and King Gambit. Like if you look at like King Gambit was another new evolution for an already solidly strong Pokemon, not 535. Where's, what's Bisharp? Uh, Bisharp is 490. So like that's a, that's a more significant jump, I would say, but I'm just gonna predict it's a smaller jump. Raihan says, wait, my Duraludon can evolve now. I bet I could beat Leon now. G-Max Pokemon can evolve, says Sonya. What? Sure they can. Wait, can they not? Oh, because Gigantamax Pikachu can't evolve. Is that true? Okay, Gigantamax prevents certain Pokemon from evolving, Eevee, Meowth, and Pikachu. Okay, well then, all he has to do is feed it some Max Soup and remove the Gigantamax factor, and then you can evolve it. Why Google why? MNJTV YouTuber? Wait, that's John! <laughs> oh, that's really funny. <laughs> Also, this information is so outdated. I haven't made Pokemon talk in years, or top tens really in years, or rap battles in years, or shiny hunting streams in years. <laughs> Stop, he's already dead. My little cousin's team, my full competitive Pokemon team. Oh God. What are in these apples? What's in these apples? Bulletproof. <laughs> Iron. Every legend has a weakness. Samson, cutting off his hair. Achilles, his heel. My hacked Wonder Guard spirit tomb from Gen 4. Literally nothing. <laughs> Driplin. <laughs> nice. Picking the cool starter, but it's bad against 70% of the gyms. Picking the ugly starter that is strong against almost all of the game's major battles. Me and most of the Pokemon community. Yeah, I, I, the, as I became an adult, I've cared a lot more about how good Pokemon are. <laughs> Cause it's less fun when you have one on your team that sucks. No starter fully sucks though. Well, oh, maybe the. The Ganium line, it really is just not helpful. Chad Yanovan Gym Leaders. We are some of the top trainers in the region. As gym Leaders, not only is it our job to be active members of the community, but it is to protect the people and Pokemon of Unova. Crybaby Johto Gym Leaders. No, you beat me, I'm a sorry loser, and we'll be giving you your gym badge even though you aren't fairly. Whitney and Claire suck. <laughs> they are the hardest, most frustrating gym leaders to fight in Johto, and both of them throw a tantrum when they lose. Okay, so hear me out. Yes, this is, this was established. Like as soon as this, person was revealed. They definitely related. I wouldn't be surprised uh, if there's a, a descendant of, oh God, Irida, that was her name. God, it took me a second. A descendant of Irida in the second part. I haven't seen a lot of people ask for a Maractus evolution. Uh, these Pokemon need evolutions, Jinx, Sableye, Mawile, Eevee again. Yeah, well, I mean, the pro Maractus isn't as cool. <laughs> like, it's, it's just a less cool Cactus Pokemon than Cacturn, so like, if I want another Cactus Pokemon or a Cactus Pokemon to get stronger, 
Give it to Cacturn. Really game freak? Red, blue, ruby, sapphire, X, Y, omega, ruby, elf, sapphire, sun, moon, sword, shield, scarlet, violet. It seems everyone liked the red and blue games. Let's do it again. <laughs> I actually had a discussion a while ago. It's like, I, I was confused as to why, maybe I've talked about this in a previous meme review, but I was like baffled as to why Violet sold more copies than Scarlet. Cause I think pretty universally Scarlet has cooler Pokemon. That's of course just my opinion. Um, but I think it was John PM7 who like said like, well, for a casual fan who's like, like plays the new generation Pokemon games and nothing else, Violet feels newer because Scarlet is red. And so it's like, oh, Scarlet, red, like that's the same thing. Whereas Violet is like, that's more distinct from blue. Cause like Violet is another word for purple, which is not the same as blue. Uh, and so that feels newer. And so I think he thought that might be why more people bought it just because of the marketing. And I thought that was a pretty interesting theory. Okay, guys, we need to make mega evolutions for gen six. Charizard, Glalie, if Glalie gets one, Frostlass should too. It is a bit odd that they gave Glalie one and did not give Frostlass one. I was just gonna say, maybe it's cause Glalie is a like Hoenn specific Pokemon and Frostlass is technically not, but like they gave Gallade one. They also gave Steelix one in Omega Ruby off Sapphire, which has nothing to do with Hoenn. It's never been available in Hoenn. Also, I wish they would have given a Mega to all of the Elite Four members. Like they do when you fight them the second time, but I wish they would have the first time. Mega Absol for Sydney, Mega Bandnet for Phoebe, Mega Glalie for Glacia, Mega Salamence for Drake. Would have been really cool. I mean, they do do that, but it's post game and it's like, well, I'm not gonna do that as much. Niantic used Amnesia. A Pokemon Go Pokemon Presents coming to Pokemon Go in September. How they in Pokemon? I think I forgot something forgot then it wasn't important yeah you're right oh they skipped the galar starters that is weird jump bluff travels on seasonal winds once its cotton spores run out its journey comes to an end as does its life yeah i talked about this dex entry uh in my scarlet violet dex entry video oh i just noticed the the hop -ip sprouts that's actually okay this is actually a very adorable beautiful way because it was I, when i was like oh this is disturbing but like seeing its spores come off its body to sprout new Hopip. This is actually very beautiful. Did the poster make this? Okay, so this was made by Micah the Brave on Tumblr. This is, this was beautiful. I don't think it'll get anything because it's new. Allow us to introduce ourselves. Hey, Pokemon's getting less predictable. Credit where credit is due. Question, is Poltergeist an alternate evolution of Sinistee, an evolution of Poltergeist, or a convergent evolution of Sinistee Poltergeist? It is a, 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 a Convergent. It is a completely separate Pokemon like Toad School and Wiglet. I believe they announced that when it was revealed. Pokemon that need an evolution annual meeting. Ooh, let's see if I disagree with any of these. I do not. But the most important ones are Lantern, Tropius, and Seviper. Wait, Cast Form's not in here. Where is Cast Form? And Zebstrika! I'm enraged now. Using the starter you want on your very first run, the Pokemon you want to use later on that has a type overlap. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's why I didn't use Skeledurge. I wanted to use Armor Rouge more. Oh God. I mean, there was that very excellent drawing of me and then a drawing of a very muscular cast form. <laughs> oh my God. And now for the curated slideshow. Hostile work environment. Katie trying to draw a beautiful picture. Mikey threatening to fire her for no reason. <laughs> uh, it was a joke I leaned into guys. LOL, Mikey is a good boss. Thank you. Thank you, I am indeed an excellent boss. We're just messing around, guys. I would not fire her because of a, something silly in a video. Katie's spectacular entry in the John Michael universe. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. If you guys have not watched uh, gym challenges in real life over on my plays channel, you definitely should. Uh, the most amount of person hours put into any video I've ever made, it's, it's, it's a riot. It is, it's so much fun. Holy crap. <laughs> This, this slideshow is long, y'all. It's like 60 slides and I haven't even looked at this yet. <laughs> ah, Kelly Smith, a Team Sky uh, recruit. Oh, multiple. Ryan Callis and William Shimt. How oh, wonderful. You're all accepted. Hmm, I should shave. Hi, holy crap. Can I join Team Sky? Uh, you need like flying Pokemon. Does chicken count? Chicken can't fly. What if I scare you with this? Cursive! All right, you're in! How dare you? <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty cool. My Team Sky OC! She loves cute Pokemon. I drew these myself and it took forever. <gasps> She's from the Galar Division. She's so cute! I love her poofy leg things! I tried decorating some coasters. That's so cool! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! 
Okay, well, guess what I found while scrolling? Uh, <gasps> nothing bunt cakes! <laughs> Team Sky rules. Your Pokemon must be A, a flying type, B, able to learn fly, and or C, has levitate. Exceptions, a Pokemon that evolves into or from the ones listed above, Mightyena, someone vandalized with drowsy. What? Who would do such a vile thing to my precious rules? <laughs> uh, Saxolotl never misses. Shiny Charizard, what? Wow, you're getting a shiny Charizard and I have had my first reception that I don't think gets anything off the board. Unless it's Italian. <laughs> you don't believe in that country, come on. I do wait, wait, did they make them French? The what did that say? Unless it's Italian. I did French by accident, whoops. <laughs> You don't believe in that country? Come on. I do very much. It is, it is English. The Sandy Gas, I think that'll finally be the old ghost type of Ruski, which doesn't help a ton because it's near Italian. <laughs> Another frog, I, I accept it and love it. Did you cross off electric yet? Not yet. I was excited about the frog. Panda Mouse, sure. Uh, I don't think that's anything. But it's a Pokemon. But what if it's Italian? <laughs> Oh my god! They're boycotting you. You need to accept this. <laughs> Crap. I this was I loved this. I don't I don't understand how that didn't get so like more upvotes. The the animations of me and John always make me so happy. Because it's great funny moments from the video just made so much cuter. <laughs> I made some graffiti inspired titles and I'd like to share them. Ooh, John Michael Cup, and then JTV, Team Sky, PM7, Grunty Boy. That's all, folks. Those were so fun. Some pixel art of Team Sky. That's really well done. Not done yet, but here's my handmade Sylveon jacket, dye and painting portion complete, and some pics of my other Pokepunk jackets. Ooh, the images are so large. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my God. Those are so impressive. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's amazing. What, what an impressive talent you have. Ooh, another Saxolotl comic. Main character energy. So you guys are the Team Rocket representatives? I hear you hate Pikachus as much as me. Happy to meet you. Main character energy. That's the biggest twerp we've ever seen. <laughs> Ooh, a time lapse of a drawing. That's fun. Team Sky! What impressive talent you have. Saw the new video and made this. Yes, okay. I don't know if he's watched this yet. <laughs> I don't know if he's watched Dr. Fuse 2. And I, I forgot I made that joke when I was watching the draft before posting and just lost it. I had to pause, I was laughing so hard. <laughs> and I don't, I don't think he's aware of it yet because I don't know if anybody's like tweeted it at him. <laughs> Okay, well, all right, I was enjoying this more. Fuse part two. Fuse, fuse, fusion, fusion. Fusions! Fuse, fusion, fuse, fuse, fuse! I like these compilations. We've fusion, got fuse compilations fuse, and sky fuse, compilations. Fuse. <laughs> these are so fun. I love making these videos. Ooh, Lego Pokemon! That's really cool! Dialga, Garchomp, Gallade, Giratina, Hisuian Samurott, Palkia, Gardevoir, I believe, and all of them together. That's really cool. I love Legos. Drake and Josh intro, but JMC. Full screen this. <laughs> this is so fun. It's a double. <laughs> oh, I'm Drake Bell. <laughs> Can I call in my expert for a question? <laughs> no, get out! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed! Son of a basket. I mean, beat! This makes we me so happy. <laughs> She's oh, Nancy no. Sullivan. Correct. Oh. What? Oh, good. Ah! Marina Cosgrove! Since it rolled around. Hitting the crotch in these competitions, you're doomed to lose. I got you, buddy. Hey, the werewolf guy. That was so fun. Across the Mikeyverse. That is so cool. Oh my God. It's actually kind of amazing. All the different variants you've, you've somehow fit in here. I am, okay, I don't love the drowsies there, but I'm so honored. You even have me with blue hair. I haven't had blue hair for many years. And the plushie of me. <laughs> Just, it, the plushy of me reminds me of like little Lego Spider-Man from the movie. Really cool sprite, so well done. A Team Sky OC, ooh, I like the, the ponytail bead 
things. Another Team Sky OC. That's so fun. Ooh, what a cool tattoo. It's so cute. It's a little happy magic carp dressed up as a red Gyarados. I mean, Mikey, Grunty Boy, Team Sky, Team Night Sky, Dr. Fuse, PM7, Mighty, and Pokemon Talk AI is on character.ai. What is character.ai? Yes, I, Dr. Fuse, shall create the ultimate Pokemon by combining two of the greatest Pokemon of all time. I, Mikey, MNJTV, I am the hottest YouTuber, hottest PokeTuber. <laughs> And <laughs> Mikey's in love with Drowsy. Let's chat about this catching Pokemon. That's fun. Do this a while for my little brother who loves birds. A Team Sky member application. You are accepted at once. Wait, what? MNJTV is Grunty Boy? Yeah, Mac, how the hell are you just figuring this out? I was watching the video where they did the Pokemon trials in real life. Why did you not tell me? <laughs> Wait, did they actually not real? <laughs> I mean, we're different people, of course. I don't know what you're talking about. I've wanted this crossover since the beginning of the JMC. Oh my God, it's happening. Everyone stay calm. Everyone stay calm. <laughs> I knew you guys would like that. A Grunty Boy got into PM7's home. Oh, it's not that. Grunty Boy can simply pop in and out of the rifts between space time. John Michael and Co, tier three, shut up and take my money. Yes, indeed. Like I'm saying, there's lots of fun content there you can't get anywhere else. I appreciate you, Caleb Amazeballs. <laughs> for supporting us there. And the rest of you should too. Patreon.com slash John Michael and Co. Oh, that's awesome. Fan art from the, the Patreon trailer. POV, John pointing at Sandy Gast. <laughs> when I heard Katie say that looks just like Bane, I had to make this immediately. Corporate needs to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. I mean, what can I say? I am quite the imposing figure. <laughs> A man of summer. <laughs> They had no idea I was going to do that. <laughs> I'm, I like, I genuinely surprised everyone in the room. I, I like had the collar poking out of the shirt. I don't know what they were like. I don't know how they didn't see it coming. Oh, look at me. I'm so cute with my little cast form friend. Hello, Mickey, purely intentional spelling. Well, at least you're saying it's intentional. My application to join Team Sky accepted immediately. You're so stylish. From Riley age eight, please. Katie, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. R slash M and JTV after the new JMC video. Unlimited memes. Yeah, like I said, there's this is a long slideshow. Direct hit. I can't believe that happened. I was in so much pain, but it was such a good moment. Part two of why I don't play competitive anymore. We, me when I realized Duraludon can hold an Eviolite. A variety of scared noises. <laughs> I saw this frame in the video and immediately thought about my poor financial decisions. Me who just bought a Donald Duck plushie made fully out of denim, what? <laughs> My mom who thought I was saving him for a new PC. I am, I'm not sure why I did this. <laughs> Wait, that's actually a really good screenshot for a meme format. Raging Bolt. That's cool art. Basically Ken, my job, it's just Pokemon. The best episode of the John Michael Cub. <laughs> a man of summer, is this a seduction? Absolutely it is, did it work? My six foot two friend, me at five four. Okay, I am six feet tall, for the record. I am not five four. John is six three, and I was slouching a bit because I was doing a cool man of summer pose. Bro, how did you figure out I'm a water type gym leader? <laughs> it's like it's like we're Tate and Liza for a water type gym. That would be really funny though if John was only sending in, one gym leader was only sending in Magikarp and the other one was sending in Gyarados. <laughs> 21 Jump Street looks different than I remember. <laughs> Me and the boys pull it up to the Barbie movie. Great movie, by the way. Me walking into the Sinnoh Elite Four, not knowing what's coming. <laughs> Me, my friend I just beat in a battle. How you feel? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Mikey, drowsy, aspid a pie. Yep, it, uh, it haunts me. My submission to Berg's gym challenge. Oh, you did it too! Oh, that's so fun. Ooh, the planetary archway is spicy. It's me, John Michael, John Michael Wingle! Teacher, what do you value most in yourself? My organs? <laughs> I have some great quips in this video. Five-year-old me at the playground, boy. Drowsy memes, Mickey, wow. Mickey thinking he's safe. <laughs> Mikey and John caught in 4K. Aw, we're so cute. And I'm fine with being Rose because then I'm the one who gets to live. Michael, when he farts in the yoga challenge, I've won, but at what cost? Uh, nothing to me. Cost John a lot. To quote the icon that is MNJTV from four years ago, are they still furries if they're bugs? What video is this from? I do not remember the context for this at all. Hello, Raiko. Hello, Executor. Dink, dink. Long boys. Apparently, if you get a long neck, you become a dragon type. Oh, wow, the Scarlet Violet Dorm made in Sims. That's really impressive. Jet butt, Electro Drift. 
Oh, someone else nicknamed them a ride on jet butt and you went into a raid with them. I'm so flattered. The thumbnail was outdated, so I updated it. Pokemon that I would eat, Squelvet. If you don't get it, watch the most recent episode of the John Michael Cup. Oh, okay. <laughs> Frostmoth, Wingsnom, fair enough. Squirrel exists, Mikey, delicious. Finally, some good effing food. <laughs> You got that frog in him? Look at my x-ray. John, what is this? It's the frog in me. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm not finding shiny Pokemon. I kill the shiny gods and find a few shinies. Why do the shiny gods not like me? MNJTV and JMC season two. Well, karma may, might exist. I did get some, just not as many as John. Are there any more Squidwards I should know about? Meow. <laughs> Is this a wing snum? It is. Lance with a level 50 Dragonite, me with a level 50 Dragonair. Lance with a level 50 Dragonite, me with a level 50 Dragonair. <laughs> the screenshot meme formats for this are excellent. Dr. Fuse, oh my God, he's so hot. Can we have Red Gyarados? We have Red Gyarados at home, Red Gyarados at home. <laughs> this, that I'm so, so amused by the developers of this game. That was brilliant. Mikey, whenever John casts a shiny Pokemon in one of his videos, why John? I had to remedy my dog chewing the floor. Mikey's dog, this floor is delicious. Oh my gosh, what an excellent callback. Pokedex spreadsheet, r slash MNHTV. I know you like spreadsheets so you can react to this or not. It is pretty impressive. I made this spreadsheet. It's the complete decks with forms, a sprite for each as a normal and a shiny, how to evolve them, which EVs they'll give, as well as charts for, oh my gosh. Whoa. Wow. That is impressive. Cool. Oh, that was the last thing. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Pokemon Meme Review. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, John Michael and Co. Patreon and the cave form Mighty Plushie available at mnjtvmerch.com, but not for much longer. And that is all I have for now. So till next time, big fans, gotta catch them all.